What's going on people? This is Ketting Online. I'm here to show you today how to use Beacon to set up your drops on Arc Survival Evolved. This would be for your expert settings, you know, if you want to custom loot drops. <coughs> right, let's get started. That was there, the new beacon file is what you'd want to click. Let me just free up a bit of space here because these are all just test drops. Nothing I need to save. Right, so when you clicked on that, it will give you this section here. And all you need to do is click plus here. And this is where you choose what drop you would like to edit, essentially. So, obviously, as you can see from me scrolling here, you've got all your drops like your white bonus, white your green, your green bonus, obviously bonus is what is with a ring then you'll have your cave drops, sea drops, artifacts boss fights and beaver dams just there so let me just select the white drop for now this here you can put presets in so if you just wanted flak armor you can just click that and press done it will put flak armor straight in your drop but Obviously, that's down to you. You will, you might need to give it a little tweak. You know, it might not give it to you how you like it. So, myself, I just keep the prevent duplicates on because you don't want it giving loads of sets of the same stuff. The sets this works in basically, you can have certain amount of sets of stuff in a drop. I'll show you how that works in a in a few moments. But that being said, I choose one set because I found that the the drops like to choose between sets. It rarely gives you every set you've got. So if you want it to have, uh, say, three sets and it choose maybe one of those each time a drop spawns, that would be fine. You know, you can set up three different sets and it will give you maybe, like, it could give you all three, it give you two, it give you just the one. And it's all random. So that is good. But this is how I do it anyway. I just click done there. Then I've got my island white drop. Okay. You can press the plus sign there, and this will be what you you just want to call it, basically. So I'll just call it white drop. Let's just leave that there for there. And you'll press plus here. This is what you want to add into your drop. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the quantity. So whatever you put in this will is what it will give. So say let's put 10 and 10. No matter what I choose, it will give me a minimum of 10, a maximum of 10. So it will give me 10. This is the quality. It goes obviously all the way down to ascendants. These don't, I don't think, I don't think they count. I've, I've not used them, but ascendant is what I use. Um, and this obviously is your chance to be blueprint. If you set that at 50%, you know, sometimes it will give blueprint, sometimes it will give item. But... If you turn it to zero, you'll 100% get item. If you turn it to 100%, it gives you 100% blueprint. So let's just say, let's choose element for this, as a lot of people do like to put a little bit of element in their boosted drops. So I've chose element there. Obviously, the quality doesn't matter on this, and I don't think the blueprint does either. But if I just want it to be element, I, I do it anyway, just to change it down to 0%, just in case. I don't want no bloody... 10 blueprints for element so we put that like that and as you can see here you've got minimum entries maximum entries this is how much is in your drop so let's say we have three items let's like I'll show you two secs let's add saddles say I'll just choose three random saddles one two and three Leave them all at the same that at what it sits on because I'm not actually going to set this drop up. But obviously you can adjust that to ascendant if you need to, and obviously blueprint, non-blueprint. So that there's just added three blueprints of these saddles. I can now change this to four and four, which what this will do is basically guarantee me. Obviously prevent duplicates ticked as well. Now, this is guaranteeing me that I will get my Aloe Saddle, Ankle, Ankle Saddle, and Ariana Saddle, and Element, all in this one drop. That is 100% guaranteed. So, there we go, guys. That's basically how you add stuff to drops. 
and you know you, it's it all comes in here that that is you've got a big list of stuff i think the only thing they haven't added if guy you guys use it is bushberry no it's still it's still not showing I, I don't know why but bushberry doesn't seem to show up i'll show you another setting for that because a lot of people like to use bushberry so i'll show you another program for that on an, on another video you'll just you'll have to have a little look through my videos and you will see the video that shows you how to get bushbury in your drops right guys there's another little thing right actually so two seconds. this here is the settings let's show you this that is what i was telling you this is your sets so obviously that will give me these items this will be a second set you can put different items in and like i said at the beginning of the video i've found that drops seem to choose between sets sometimes you get both sometimes you get one i've done it with a few of my ring drops i put element in a different set and i've had it just with element spawning on a white drop or white ring drop which isn't ideal so i ended up having to put them all into one set but that is pretty easy as well. Let's say we want to add advanced rifle. Let's, let's just type that. Advanced rifle bullet blueprint. Okay. So we'll have one advanced rifle blueprint in there. Let's say we want that. I can just co oh, uh, I can copy it straight in. Paste. And then I can just go delete obviously I didn't need to do that I could have just gone in here and added it but it's if you've already added two sets you can just go like this copy it all and it will let you paste which is what I'm going to show you now this is my Valguero drops so let's say obviously you've already set some drops up um, like you've got your white drop your scorched white and your aberration white generally these are all the same usually they're all the same so if you have already set some of these drops up, so you, if you want every white drop like this to be the same, you can just make one island drop, copy this, and then go to your new, or it could all be in the same thing obviously, but this would be a set island white. Done. I can now just go paste, and it's done. So obviously from this one, if you say you wanted this drop in there, you copy this and you paste it. It works all the same, you know. Obviously, you don't have to have what I've, what I've put in there. That's just that's, that's my personal stuff. But that that is copying and pasting, so you don't have to individually do every single drop. You can just copy and paste if you want the same stuff in another drop. Which it, I tell you what, it saves you hella time. Also, there is a little thing that I must show you because you, some people are probably looking now like, what the fuck is this? Like, why is it all saying island, 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 and it's only got brood, mother, Me mega, pificus, and dragon? Right, let me show you how this works. You see this bit here, loot drop contents with a little arrow. You click on this, and there will be a section for maps. Okay, to be honest, this is what you want to do at the start. I should have maybe put this at the start of the video, but here we are now so this, let's just let's just get on with it and show you how it's done let's set a Valguero up because let's be honest most people are probably setting up Valguero servers at the minute as it being the new map then once you click Valguero obviously unclick island make sure nothing else click just click Valguero and go back to loot drop contents now this will show you all your drops that are used by Valguero so obviously my island whites and things like that now are the island white actually that will still work because it an island green is used by Valguero, they're all the same. But I like to make sure I'm set up on the map. But this will give you all your Valguero drops, as you can see, and it's got all the, the bosses. Now now the manticore's added on there. You've got your beef dams obviously as well and things. Every every map's different, obviously aberration you have different stuff. You might want to add different things to it, but that there is pretty much how you customise all loot drops. Um, once you've done this and obviously you're completely finished all your drops are set just come to this little file here and you want to go down to maybe press save just in case save it anyway because if you save it you can open it in a, 
it uh, and re redo what I'm about to do now. Just in case it doesn't work. I've never had it not work, but it's always safe to save. Press the export button anyway, and you will have game any here. This is what you want to save. This was your game any. You can't copy and paste this. It doesn't let you copy it. But unless you press copy all actually I've not done that before but that maybe that works I usually just save as save it as a code drop whatever you want to call it like you know drop spawns or whatever you want to call it I won't save this because I've, I think I've already got things called drop spawns but that is how you save it so once it's saved you can just open that file in your documents down like this file explorer and you have your document so obviously you'll open it and it will, it will just give you a notepad with all of this and what you want to do from there, uh, let me show you actually that because when I first set up doing this I didn't really get shown this and it was uh, I sort of struggled if I'm honest right so this look, this is an aberration one I done, aberration drop code, see it will open a notepad down here like this and this is what it will give you all of this coding this bit at the bottom here doesn't need to be in okay so you, every code you copy from beacon will have that but you do not need to put that in your game any okay that is I can't stress that enough because when I first started I was putting this bloody code in and it was stopping other things from working in my coding so you want to copy from the comfort you don't need this either you do not need that either okay that is a no-go. You don't need that. Copy from config down, all the way down. Bring it down. And I stop there, right there. And I will control C that. So then that's copied. And where you want to go from there is basically, you need to go into, now need to go into your Nitrado server settings. And as I was saying, guys, um, for some reason I try to not let me show this up right now. But with your beacon coding, it just literally go into expert settings. If you know how to use your expert settings, I will do a video on this, show everyone how to use expert settings. But if you already know that, then that bit I just showed you to copy and paste, you literally just copy that, paste it into your game any, save the changes. And that there should do your drops for you. I hope everyone understood fully what I was talking about in this video. If anyone has any questions, please leave me a, a, a message in the comments. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, if anyone has any recommendations of videos that they need doing, for coding wise or whatnot, please feel free to message me. And I hope you all have a great day, guys. Peace out.